Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show how we can programmatically search a column going row by row using VBA. I mean I know we can do formulas in order to count certain items in here but what I'm going to do is programmatically show you how you can count every single item in row A that contains a particular string. So we're going to be using a string function as well as some VBA programming. I already have some words set up in column A and it goes all the way down to I believe row 400. So we go down to row 400 and I'm going to go to my developers tab. In my developers tab I'm going to go to my insert and I'm going to insert an ActiveX control. The one I'm putting in here is just the command button and just right click that properties just rename it to to your liking. I'm going to want to put scan on mine under caption scan and go on in right now we're in design mode I'm gonna double click it and I'm gonna do a variable call it row number and I'm gonna call it I'm gonna put it as zero and the first thing I'm gonna do is just do a loop through it do do events I'm gonna do row number is equal to row number plus one that way that way we get it goes to row one and then every repetition is gonna increment by one and we're gonna do loop until I'm gonna put another variable first. Let me let me do item in review is equal to sheets and I'm gonna do this that way as a quote this will be the name of the sheet right here in the bottom this can be sheet one or whatever the title is dot range and we're gonna be looking at column A and then the row number. So we're gonna do loop until item in review is equal to blank and just so you can sh so we can show you where we are at I'm gonna do message box row number I'm gonna toggle back to my visual basic editor I'm sorry I'm gonna toggle back to Microsoft Excel take us out of design mode and just hit scan so this is all this does is it's counting one by one until we're at the end of the sheet where it's blank and it'll give us it'll return the value 401 but what we're gonna do is create we're going to put in a little bit of programming, uh, some more code in here, so that we can find a certain string. And I'll just put F3 as where we can in insert a search string. So I'm going to type in search string. And we'll plug in the value right here. Let's just say we want to look for the, for the string OU. And right now this, this is F3, so I'm gonna go back into design mode, double click scan. And item in review, all this, what item in review is, is the item that's being scanned. So what we can do is put if INSTR, and we'll do item in, re in review. If it contains the string OU, then where the code that's between the if and the end if is is the code that will be executed. So let's just do a, a count. Count of string is equal to zero. We'll keep count of how many times the OU occurs. So in uh, per cell. So count of string is equal to count of string plus one. And we can put a message box. The string occurred and we'll do and the count of string space times so let's try playing this code take us out of design mode and hit scan so the string occurred 15 times now right now I am not looking at the cell F3 if you notice in the visual basic environment all I did was type in OU so to kind of just expand, that way we're only looking at the search string right here. We'll put search string is equal to sheets. That's going to be sheet one range. And we're going to be looking at the range F3. And we're going to copy that variable. And all we're going to do is change OU to search string. So in item review we're looking for a search string. 
and actually this is supposed to be greater than zero because what INSTR is going to do in this case it's going to tell us the position of the search string as an integer so in this case we're looking for OU it's going to return the the integer of O I mean it's going to return the integer of OU as to where it occurs in the word amount so to show you a real quick example of this I'm going to insert another ActiveX control I'm going to place this code over here I'm just going to name it test INSTR show you how this works real quick this is just one way on how to use this function I'm going to do message box I'm going to do INSTR the word amount and looking for the string OU so if we were to play that code right there take us out of design mode and play it that's telling you that OU is the is the, the third position so A M and then O being the, th the third letter so now that we've set up the scan we're going to try this out again I'm going to run it the string occurred 15 times if we were to put change this out to let's say UM scan it that string occurred six times and that concludes this video guys I will put this code as to whatever will fit into the YouTube description if you'd like to copy the code thank you for watching